Hi Cancer, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only general reading, always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of November, as usual, I have a special sales offer available and for this month, it's inspired in the current Scorpio season we are on and if you'd like to know more details about it just check in the description box or email me with your questions and if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the PayPal link which is also down below. So Cancer, November seems to bring an activation of intense emotions. There's an intensity to the tone um, of the month for some of you that it's quite high and unusual perhaps uh, to you the type of feelings you're visiting the type of uh, emotions you're being um, taken into it's almost like an energy of a big wave taking you into depths that for some of you can be a little bit intimidating scary or just all-consuming and you might be trying to free yourself trying to release yourself from this type of obsessive quality that can arise and find it to be difficult, you know, to be at ease um, with how things are unfolding for you. It's like um, out of your element, out of your sense of preservation. Um, some of you feel like you're not able to be yourselves fully during November because there's so many things taking over both internally and externally, like things are taking over, um, it's like they're taking over your stuff, things that you have been working on, dictating in certain ways, to be in certain ways, controlling to be in certain ways, there's a, there's a change that is part of a process and is part of a higher um, plan that you might not realize or you might not want to accept, you know, at least during the month of November, there might be challenges in you accepting something particularly particular about your own process, what is happening in your life, what is happening with people in your life as well. Because I feel like for some of you Cancers, there's a level of um, both passion and at the same time, uh, toxicity that it's found in your interactions that can also be part of the reason why the month can be a little bit tricky because relationships will carry uh, with them strong attraction, strong passion, strong interest, strong love, even almost like an obsessive tone here. But they will also be um, perhaps developed in a way um, that it's not the way you would like it to happen. It's the way the process is unfolding within relationships that is out of your, out of your liking. Because I feel like for some... You might be in interactions that are asking you to enjoy the process, to enjoy the moment, regardless of what could happen in the future. It's like to be really centered in now. But also the, this, this type of, of uh, relationships and all the love experiences some of you are having, which is quite intense, uh, would make crystal clear for some of you cancers that are th there are things that you haven't healed things you haven't been clearing from your past that needs to be cleared in order to really have the space and the proper correct you know um behavior to deal with the with this uh situation it's almost like um you're attracting something intense to reap it's almost to 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 be strong enough to uh, have you take away you know the 
the band-aid that some of you have put in your hearts. The month is all about the heart and what it revolves around it. And the heart is really, you know, it's almost like a feeling like it's so jumpy, so agitated. It's it's consumed by a lot of things. For some of you, you're also very consumed by the fact that you can't control and you can't predict how certain things are happening. And this is not just about love. This is about anything in your life that you have this strong will to control and somehow in November things are not falling in line you know they're not falling exactly uh, in line to your plans or in line to your rules also the feeling here is that there are some rules in your personal world that you have set for yourself that maybe are being tested for some of you cancers, you might be tested, you might be provoked, you might be uh, pushed, you know, teased um, to discover that maybe there are things about those rules. Uh, they have been, you know, harming you or harming the progress you would like to have in your life more than helping. And I also see that there's a lot of pride here. So if you are facing difficulties in relationships during during November, it could be due to pride. Uh, I also feel like it's, it's hard for some of you cancers right now to admit both to how you feel and also to mistakes to uh, any kind of, um, again, incorrect use of your power over something. Either you're trying to influence and control something too much or also you're being uh, given this energy. So it all, maybe it's also coming from a person in your life that, or a situation that is trying to control you into their own rules and into their own ways of... Um, you know, leaving life and relationships, and you might be testing someone here. You might really be testing someone, um, showing them that, um, you know, it's almost like love has no rules. There's something here about love being really a game changer, both for you and perhaps to another person you're dealing with. One of you definitely is shown here as having control issues. So it depends, obviously, in your own personal case. But for both cases, there needs to be just a release. There needs to be some clearing. Um, it's a, like a, a self-purge, uh, like to, to put in action in November. Some of you would benefit extremely to put in action, you know, a self conscious plan to purge uh, your energy, both physically, mentally, emotionally. It's like the purging um, would be successful for some of you cancers to find more peace and more balance while at the same time you're dealing with very, very, very intense emotions. So when we're dealing with intensity, um, you know, our balance usually is not is not capable to stay in place for too long because intensity brings, you know, um, how can I say this intensity brings uh, an energy that can consume us and overwhelm us and make us uh, not see, not think, not feel beyond it. It gives that illusion, right, of being under this um only spell so the purge would facilitate um a balance in your mind and heart uh that on its own without this purge can be extremely hard to to conquer for some of you, again, it's your heart has been um, hurt or locked. For some of you, it's easy. your heart has been here locked. It has been a process 
to unlock and at the same time to purge what in it um, you need to let go in order to find your freedom. It can be a month that it's very much emotionally, you know, you're going through a catharsis of sorts, which would allow a real profound change and a breakthrough ahead, especially with the things you desire to attract in a more intimate, romantic level. So I hope you have a great month. I want to thank all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.